Update on this breaking news from Detroit's east side, where we've learned and can obviously see that a car has crashed right into a home. It's on an auto drive. And the driver likely going to face some charges. Local four cameras were rolling as police gave that driver a field sobriety test. Nick Monticelli joins us now live uh, with more on that side of the story, but also this house and the people inside. Was anybody hurt? Yeah, no, fortunately, nobody was hurt. It's an amazing story, too, because the woman who stays here, Alan Tate, normally sleeps in this living room on a couch that's right there. But for whatever reason, she decided to go in her bedroom last night, which is right next to it. Otherwise, there's a good chance that she would either be in the hospital or dead. Now, you can see all the damage here. You can see how bad it was. And it's kind of difficult to see, but I do want to point this out. Jim is the man working the camera. Jim, if we come down here, you can actually see the tire tracks in the snow, the vehicle coming down promenade and then just smashing into the front of this home here at the corner of Promenade and East Outer Drive. It was lodged right in here. In fact, you can still see kind of a hole of where that SUV used to be. In fact, take a look at this video. We can show you exactly where the SUV used to be. All this happening at about 345 this morning again at the corner of Promenade and East Outer Drive. Ellen Tate was inside. She heard what happened. But before you hear from her, I want to show you the field sobriety test. Now take a look at this. This driver now in the custody of the Detroit Police Department given that test and during it, he either thought that dancing was going to help him pass it or bring some levity to the situation. Either way, you can kind of see, even though you blurred his face, you can kind of get the idea of what was going on there. I'm not trying to make light of the situation. It's not a funny situation, but it is somewhat comical in that sense anyway. Again, Ellen Tate, the homeowner inside, just thankful that she's alive. I woke up out of my sleep. A boom, bang, crash. It was it was scary. And when I went to the living room, I couldn't see. It was just smoke. So back out here live, the question is, what's next? And the answer is, they've got to figure that out. She is renting this home, so the homeowner is going to have to come here and try to figure this out, get a board on all of this. We don't know yet if there's any significant structural damage to the home. Hopefully not, but they are starting to clean up. You can kind of hear the glass in the background. This is a horrible situation. The only good thing, the silver lining at Everard Ronda, is that, again, she's not hurt at all. We're live here on Detroit's East Side. Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today. Thank goodness she wasn't sleeping on that couch. Nick, thank you.